Hi. What brings you to the fringe? Oh, we just got in a shipment of mustache magnets. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. But, um, you have company. Oh, yeah, Brittany asked me to put faces on these. This one's Winona. This one's Marilyn, note the beauty mark. And then Tigress. She's the feistiest. Mm hmm. You know, if you ever need someone human to talk to, my parents are professionals, and I'm sure one of them takes your insurance. Dude, I haven't lost it. Tell him, Marilyn. <laughs> so, what's up? I have decided to become a screenwriter, and I've written a script, and I need someone to read it, and I've chosen you. Oh, well, this is a surprise, and an honor. Mostly a surprise. There's just five years left before I apply to college, and so far my only extracurricular activities are substitute flag monitor and lunch lady's favorite assistant. I guess it's never too early to start obsessing. But why a screenplay? Well, I'm blocked on my novel, and my rock opera doesn't seem groundbreaking enough. Please read it. I need an objective opinion. <sighs> well, why me? Why not Andy or Buffy or anyone? They'll just tell me what I want to hear. Plus, I know you're doing that movie makeup unit in school, and I was really hoping I could get some feedback from someone in the biz. <laughs> okay, but I'm not sure I'm qualified. I really don't think I'd know a good script from a terrible script. This is a terrible script. Sounds like you really enjoyed it. You guys, it was awesome. I was climbing a mountain. It felt so real, like I was actually touching the rocks. One day, we'll be telling our kids that we actually had to go outside to touch rocks. They don't just have rock climbing. They have hang gliding, volcano jumping, or you can just sit in a treehouse with a hedgehog. This place must be new. I didn't know there was a virtual reality arcade in town. I could use some virtual reality. My actual reality kind of stinks. Cece is selling their house. She is? That's terrible. Yeah, it is. Including Andy Shack, which is the most important place in the world to me. So, can we please change the subject before I start crying? Hey. If you want to take your mind off of things, I'll take you to the arcade this weekend. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. It's a date. You should come, too. Uh... Gotta go. Late for practice. Bye. So close, Buffy. I know. He actually used the word date. I thought we were finally gonna go do something, just the two of us. It's okay. I won't come. No, do. If you don't, he'll just end up inviting someone else. Well, as awesome as that invitation sounds, I still don't want to be a third wheel. Wait, you and Jonah are a couple? Who can tell? We've never used that word before, and he has so many friends that we always end up doing everything in a group. But he still likes you the best. Does he? Sometimes I don't know if we're together or if we're just friends that like holding hands and ending calls with, no, you hang up first. You want half my fries? You never order them and you always regret it. <laughs> That's okay. They taste better when I steal them from you and you pretend not to see. Here it is. Go see. They forgot your extra napkins. I'm on it. Thanks. What? Extra napkins. <laughs> Everybody knows I like extra napkins. I didn't, but obviously Marty's been paying attention. <laughs> Are you seriously gonna tell me he doesn't like you? That's just how he is. He's thoughtful. Thoughtful to you. And for the record, why not? You guys would make a great couple. Well, we're not a couple. We could be one for a day. You can watch the full episode of the brand new Andy Mac this Friday at 5.30, only on Disney Channel.